The annual Head for the Hills Festival is currently underway and is undergoing its fourth year of festivities this year. I am here with Ronald Eagle and Connie Frederick Williams who are here to give us all the details on the festivities. Thank you both very much for being here this morning. Well, thank you, LV. We appreciate it. It's always wonderful to have guests on here. I know oh, I'm really excited to kind of to get into this. So just for those who might not know as for the first question, can you kind of explain what the Head for the Hills Festival is and what it celebrates? Absolutely. So the Head for the Hills Festival is a veterans festival. Uh, every year we pick a veterans charity to uh, donate to. This year, of course, we're donating to the Honor Flight, which just left out of Clarksburg last weekend and took all those veterans over to D.C. so they could uh, experience the war memorials that they fought for. And uh, so that's the charity this year. Uh, it is a motorcycle event and the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association in cooperation with Ritchie County Tourism uh, sponsors the festival and puts the festival on. And we've got a lot of activities and I'm sure Connie wants to tell you about as far as what we're offering at the festival. Yes, please. Well, the <clears throat> biggest thing is our poker tour that uh, takes people out to several different locations. They go throughout Ritchie County and Wood County. And we've actually got to stop in Pleasance County this year. Then we've got our music, which is a huge hit for the people who stay for the festival part of it. All Revved Up is going to be our main band on Saturday, and I'll let you talk about them. So All Revved Up is a meatloaf tribute band out of New York, oh, nice. and we're bringing them in to highlight. Last year we had Kiss Army as our highlight, but we also on Friday have George Shingleton coming out of Nashville. And of course, George is famous for his hit song on Yellowstone, the, the popular TV series. So uh, we've got a lot of great entertainment. We've got uh, Midnight Outlaws. We've got Stonaker Hill. We've got vets with guitars coming out and highlighting what they're doing for veterans to help them combat PTSD. And we're giving them the stage presence to, to, to give them an opportunity to really show what they're capable of. And, and it, it gives them an opportunity to be a star for the day. So. Uh, we've got a lot of entertainment, um, a lot of festivities going on. We just, it, it's a festival full of fun, and it's for the family. And Saturday, uh, we've got the uh, the race coming up. Yeah, we've up. got the, the <clears throat> second annual Head for the Hills Festival race, and that's mini wedges, and there's a lot of people who come out and want to participate in that. Lots of kids. There's a, some adult classes, too. It's, it's, it's really fun to watch. Back to the poker tour. Um, that gives everybody an opportunity to go out and see what the community has to offer. That's why Ritchie County Tourism and Visitors Bureau is a part of that. They can promote their different businesses in the local area and some of those include Burdines, Five and Dime and we've got Arlo's and Mothman of course because it's a poker tour and the poker tour is not only open to just motorcycles any road legal vehicle is welcome to participate. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really, it's a lot of fun. It's On sort of Saturday, there's a, a veterans tribute at the Ritchie County uh, <coughs> Veterans Memorial that's in Cairo. Mm -hmm. And they'll, they'll do a little tribute there. And each one of those stops, they earn an actual stamp when they, and then when they come to the final stop, they play against the deck to see if they win. And then of course, Friday and Saturday is two different ones and there's a winner and a loser on both of those days. So they both get cash prizes. All they have to do is come to the festival and they're supporting the veterans in the best way possible. They, and they can just show up. There's, um, is there any admission for people who would like to go? Uh, yes. They're, yeah, it's, they're, it's $10 a day. <clears throat> if you're a veteran and you buy a weekend pass, you get $5 off, it's 25, so it's 30 for, for just anybody else. But if you're a veteran, you, you can come in for 25. And it goes towards veteran, a veterans organization? Mm -hmm. Correct. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you both very much for being here this morning to talk about this. It sounds like it's going to be an amazing time for everybody. It is. It's going to be wonderful. 